Hello, Sim family. My name is Carrie Jessica. I am your friendly neighborhood silver haired simmer. I am the mom in the neighborhood that spends as much, if not more, screen time than the kids. And today is no exception. We're going to hop back into my absolute favorite let's play, my not so very let's play. I'm so excited for Yellow Gen. Okay, I'm like, let me stretch out here. Actually, my arm does hurt. I've been playing for a very long time. <laughs> Let's go into skin details because that is where we start. Give her some lashes and... Cute, cute, cute. And then we'll give her a little nose overlay here. Okay. I already like her eyebrows because I feel like a lot of blondes have darker eyebrows. So we'll go with that. Um, okay, so she had a Nightcrawler hair. So let's look at some blondie options with Nightcrawler hair. I don't remember what color exactly she had. That That is probably pretty close to whatever she had before. I kind of like that, that's cute. I don't know though this that could be such a cute maybe she'll have that more like in her teen years okay so these eyes already have some gray in them so i love that we'll leave those be um not that you have to wear glasses to be smart but i obviously i wear glasses and i love glasses so let's give her some glasses and she might grow out of wearing glasses but at this point i like I like them. Okay, that's really cute. Let's go in to close. This is always a little harder for me. I spend way too much time trying like every single thing on. So I'm gonna try to not do that. That's really cute. That's cute. I like the idea of her having nice things because her dad is, you know, a political figure. He's known. Um, therefore, I think that like she would have she would have nice things but i want it to also be a little bit like maybe she's maybe she turns out to be like a thrifty queen maybe she likes to go thrift shopping and ooh nasa okay that's perfect it's not really a lot of yellow though so let's um i feel like i have a sweatshirt or something that has nasa cuz how perfect is that Okay, we're gonna stick with Hufflepuff. That's cute, that's adorable. The party look for her I think is gonna kind of matter whereas like most of the time for my kids it doesn't but her dad is constantly throwing parties. Oh my gosh, that. All right, she's gonna wear that all the time. Oh my gosh, that is just so freaking cute. I don't know, is it not yellow though? It's very goldy. Okay, I'm sticking with it, it it's yellow. It's just not this kind of yellow. It's more of a gold yellow, but it's okay. That it's fine. I hate everything. Yeah, that's way cute. Okay, I could I can deal with that. And then let's do a second look for her since I do have that also in the party thing because I just think it's really cute. That's adorable. Okay, that's what she's gonna wear for her everyday stuff. Okay. We still have not secured our 10 votes, but we do have Everly as a child and Everly's room is squared away. I do have some goals of things that I want to be able to purchase here after he has another work day. I want her to have like a chess table. I feel like that's part of the whiz kid aspiration. Uh, not that we necessarily have to complete the whiz kid aspiration as part of the challenge, but like, why not? She's going to be spending a lot of time on her own anyway. Um, okay. She needs to go to bed, go to the bathroom and go to bed. Don't, don't make a mess. We don't have time for that. And then go to sleep. Okay. So Aiden has time to try to secure some of these votes while everyone is still over. Secure vote. Gossip. You know what? I'm going to jump in. I, I won't bore you with it, but I'm going to jump in real quick because our girl needs some clothes. She has no clothes on secure vote ask about career and then secure vote this is getting a little 
I think that tomorrow we need to go on a date after work and not all of this because this is not fun. Daxton is unconvinced. Daxton, dude, you don't even know what you're talking about. I'm the best. Oh, we secured all 10 votes. Okay, we're done with that. We'll probably get a promotion our next day at work. Okay, let's, let's go to bed and we're gonna go. Okay, so she needs to play chess and she needs to read with an adult for two hours. That's gonna be kind of rough considering I don't feel like there are any adults around that wanna read with her for two hours. Oh my gosh, Brent got married. I love that I just got a notification for that, but Brent just got married. I wish I would've been invited to your wedding, but whatever. Oh, and she married a uh, Pizzazz. I wanna say that that's one of the townie sims that comes with city living. Um, yeah, I think so. Congratulations, Bryn. I can't really do much else with you about that, but congratulations. He is feeling like he needs a little romance in his life. I hear you. I, I hear you. We will definitely make that happen tonight. Okay, she has to do all of her homework and everything, so we're going to go ahead and get up. Um, I wonder why the babysitter is still here. Is she just here forever? Is she like our nanny? I, I didn't realize that's what I was signing up for, but okay. Um, sounds good to me. It's the lottery. Let's go ahead and get a lottery ticket, even though I don't even think that it's a winnable situation. I've never once won the lottery. Oh no, she has dry skin. So let's get some lotion going for our cutie patootie. That is part of that preteen mod. Okay, when do you go to work? Cause if you have time to run, yeah, he has time to go for a jog. Let's, whoa, don't know why she did that. Oh, why did, what does he have? Political career, pick a cause, protest. Oh, we should. Okay, so we need to figure out how to figure out time to go on a date and protest. Maybe we could protest during our date. Like we could go out to dinner and then start a protest there at the restaurant. And then we'll see, yeah, we'll see if she's into it. Um, now, Chloe did contact us and wanna go out with us on a date and we're kind of like w working on Dustin at the moment. So one of those two is who we should go out with for sure. He's known Chloe for a long time and Dustin is kind of newer. So maybe we'll go out with Dustin first and kind of see how that goes. And we are going to go to, ooh, maybe I should work from home. I mean, it's too late to do that today, but I could do it the next day. Let's ask for help with our homework. Ooh, we're definitely, I don't think we're gonna get our homework done in time for school though. Well, we didn't finish our homework and Aiden is off to work. So let's have Everly, oh no, 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 you don't wanna make friends, sorry. You're gonna listen to your teacher. All right, and his stuff is excellent and he has a check mark. He should for sure get a promotion today. Like, I don't see how he couldn't get a promotion today. I don't work for free, you know. If you ever want help again, you'd better get your act together and pay the $54 bill. What? I didn't even know that I owed you money. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Today the principal is visiting Everly's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. Should she ignore it or ask the kid to stop? Since she's such a like loner introvert, I don't think she's gonna ask him to stop. She's just gonna like deal with it. Everly keeps her eyes trained dutifully on the board, hoping the kid will stop. Instead, the <laughs> The kid fires a ball of paper so hard it rolls up to the teacher's feet. For once, somebody else is getting in trouble and Everly looks innocent and studious. Yes. Ooh, Everly reached the creativity level two. Oh, I should check real quick on what she has to do. She has to master rocket science and maybe logic. That seems to sound right to me. Um, so she has a master of rocket science and handiness. Okay, rocket science and handiness. So I need to make sure that we're kind of working on that. All right, so she's done with her day. I am gonna have her watch, okay. Can we buy a chess table? No, we only have $73. <laughs> we cannot. All right, I don't know why the babysitter is here again. All nine of his career. Oh my gosh, we are killing it. He's gonna be, okay, I, I can't get ahead of myself. We're not almost done with his stuff. We have a, like, 
five more boyfriends and girlfriends to have. Okay, so he is going to go to the bathroom and after that, I think that we need to ask someone out on a date. Okay. Oh, who are we gonna ask out? So should we out, ask out Dustin or Chloe? Um, let's out ask out Dustin because I think for him, especially with Megan being someone that he's grown up with, he needs to, he needs to be dating outside of the people that he like went to high school with. All right, Everly, you're adorable. Let's work on your homework and you can even ask her for help with your homework. I wish I could ask her to read a book because that would be what I actually need her to do is to read a book to me. Um, oh, I need a bookshelf. We have $6,000. Okay, let's get a few things for Everly. Let's, whoa. Why am I so rogue with this at the moment? I have no idea. Okay, so now we have that. What else do I need to get for her? Let's get a nicer living room situation because I feel like that's something that he would care a lot about. And let's get a nicer rug. Um, now that we are bringing in the money, it's kind of nice to know that I'm not gonna worry about like money. I haven't really, okay, knock on all of the wood and stuff, but I have not had to worry about money at all during this Let's Play yet. Why do I not like any of these? Okay, that looks good. I like that. Um, okay, so we have a little chess set up. We have, let's do a different stereo system. Let's have a stereo here in the corner. Um, okay, so is there anything else that I wanna do while I'm here? Cause we have a little bit of money left. Okay, we must've gotten that from our parties that we're hosting. Um, oh, let's put pictures up in his room. The other ones are in his pocket. I was like, why don't I have more than that? All right, so since this is gonna be his office area, oh, we can move his mirror into his room. Oh, we need a bookshelf. That's what else we need. There we go. That's kind of cool. All right, that's what we have for now. Okay, so I don't know if she can... If I purchase children's books, is that all I need to be able to like have her ask someone to read to her? How do I ask someone to read to me? I don't think I can. I think it's gonna have to be that Aiden is the one that initiates reading to her, which is probably never gonna happen. <laughs> All right, where should we go on our big date? Let's... Did the nanny call me again? Remember you hired a nanny. If you wish they will stay at your house while your Sims are away and will charge you for their time when you get back and dismiss them. Okay, yeah, I think I've totally messed up the whole nanny situation. Not gonna lie. All right, let's go to a lounge. Why not? Let's, Oh, we're just gonna open up this date with our first kiss. See how that goes. She's very uncomfortable. Maybe it's not going to go very well at all. Okay, that went just fine. We'll drop some cooking tips. Let's hold hands. Um. <laughs> Can you imagine being on a date and just like the person belting out some songs? Didn't we already secure her vote? I think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. Compliment appearance. Let's, we need to get to know her. Um, to chill, you are being so intense right now. We're gonna give some parenting tips as if we have any room to talk about parenting. We'll be like, the, the conversation, Aiden got the impression Dustin finds him unattractive. Um, oh my gosh, throughout the conversation, Aiden got the impression Dustin finds him unattractive, making him feel a little discouraged. <laughs> that, is, that is so freaking hysterical. <laughs> okay, um, all right, he needs to eat and then, wait, why can't I get food here? 
that is so funny. Order some food and then, oh no, I don't want to order a big platter because apparently this date is not really happening. Um, I wonder if I could ask her to be my girlfriend and then we can break up with her when she, you know, she'll be the one to initiate breaking up and be like, I don't want to be with you. I'm not that into you. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. She's very flirty. We're gonna, we're gonna make some empty promises because, you know, oh my God, that's so funny. All right, let's ask about it. her degree and then Let's ask about her attractive preferences. <laughs> She's like, it's not you. It's not you. My preference is just not you. Ask to be girlfriend. <laughs> she <did laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna start a protest. Everyone is like, what is, what are you even doing? <laughs> no one is even paying attention to him. Okay. Oh, people are protesting. They're just standing outside. Look at that. We got people in on it. Oh, I do have to secure votes. Let's. No. Okay. Um. All right, I didn't realize that I had to secure more votes. Polite introduction, get to know. Okay, we 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 gotta stop this protest. We need to <laughs> we need to secure some more votes. Um, I don't know what to do about our new girlfriend because I think that maybe Aiden just was feeling like she wasn't that into him, but I think she is. Tia, oh my God. What is even happening in my game? Good Lord. Okay, so any chance that uh, you wanna vote for me? All right guys, we are incredibly tired and Aiden is gonna head home to knock out like his needs and stuff so that he is ready for work tomorrow. A lot has happened. We are at level nine of our career. We have a new girlfriend and Everly is a child now. And even though we're kind of spending money as soon as we make it, we are slowly getting our house to be a little bit nicer. Um, and I, I think that Aiden's house at the very end is gonna be really, really cool. All right guys, I'm gonna leave this one here. If you have not yet, give this video a like and drop a comment. Believe it or not, those things help my channel and this is a baby channel and I greatly appreciate all of your support. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I usually post videos about three to four times a week. Um, I've got this one as well as I am getting ready to restart the Mystical Motherhood Occult Baby Challenge. And, and that's it. If you want to hang out with me in other places on the internet, I'll put the links to those things in the description box below. Uh, this is the worst outro ever. Like for some reason I have just like forgotten all of the normal things to say, but I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.